Hello, it's math time. Today's topic is finding the value of a digit. Let's get started. The value of a digit depends on the place or position of that digit in a number. We can use a place value mat to help us to determine the value of a number. Let's look at a few examples. Find the value of the digit 9 in this number. 9053. First, let's get the column's names up. Great. As we can see, the digit 9 is in the thousands column. That means that there are nine thousands. Now, what does nine thousands really look like? As you can see, it takes a bit longer to add 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 all the way to 9,000. So we're simply going to say that 9,000 equals 9,000. The value of the nine in this number is 9,000. Find the value of the digit five in this number, 675. You know what we're gonna do first, Get those columns up. As we can see, the five is in the ones column. So that means that there are five ones. What does five ones look like? As you can see, we have one five times and we add them together to get five. But instead of doing all that adding, we just simply say five ones equals five. It's just like your timetables. Five times one equals five. So the value of the five in this number is five. Find the value of the digit four in this number, 5,421. First, we put up our columns. Now we look to see what place the underlying digit is in. The four is in the hundreds place. So that means that there are four hundreds. And what does four hundreds look like? There you go. But instead of doing all of that adding, let's just use our fingers and count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400. So the value of the four in this number is 400. Find the value of the digit six in this number. 4,165. First thing we're going to do is to get our columns up. As we can see, the six is in the tens place. So that means that there are six tens. And what does six tens look like? Six groups of 10. But instead of doing all of that adding, we just simply count by 10. And if you know how to count by 10, you know that six tens equals 60. Therefore, the value of the six in this number is 60. For this slide, you're going to need your sheet of paper and a pencil to practice on your own. Find the value of the digit eight in this number. I want you to pause the video and then do it on your own. And when you're done, click play to see if you got it correct. Welcome back. Let's get to work. First things first, we put up our columns. Then we look to see what place or column the underlying digit is in. Eight is in the hundreds place. So that means that there are eight hundreds. If we count in hundreds, eight hundreds should give us 800. But just to be sure, let's use our fingers. Hold up eight fingers and tap each one on your chin as we count in hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Excellent. So the value of the eight in this number is 800. If you got that, awesome job. If you didn't, don't feel bad. Just rewind the video and play it again and pay close attention this time. Well, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I hope that finding the value of a digit is easier for you. Please watch this video to the end to make sure that you see the practice pages that you can do. Farewell.
I forgot to mention that you can find more practices on finding the value of a digit on page 21 of the Bahamas Primary Mathematics Textbook, Book 3. Be sure to get it at your school or at a store and practice, practice, practice.